am at the North Spring Smarter Station. It's really simple to get here. All of these stations have the ticket counters and you just get a one-way breeze ticket, which is like $3 or something. And it's super simple. I am at the visitor center for day zero. My shuttle just dropped me off. Went to the bathroom. Pretty sure the check-in is further down here somewhere, so I'm gonna go take some pictures of the arch first. Around the back of the visitor center is the arch. I'm pretty sure one of those buildings is where I want to go. Visitor center is over there. The first building here is base camp two. That's where you do the check-in and the little speech and everything. And then this trail back there is the approach trail. I think this is the Max Epperson shelter. It's like almost directly behind the visitor center and there's a little park here. And I'm now on the approach trail. I have these little Leave no trace principles every so often. Barely into the approach trail, but I had to rearrange my pack, get a bit of food out. There's a cool little stream here, a picnic table. That path is where I came down. I'm hoping to get to the Black Gap shelter tonight, but we will see, because I'm starting at 12, which is a little late. The waterfall yet, it's still point two away, but there's a lot of smaller ones along pretty much the, the section of the path which is pretty cool. I don't feel like anyone talks about how uphill this is, or at least the people I've seen. shape but it is not fit. This is the 175 steps. I'm almost up. That's the 600 some steps. I am very afraid of that section right now. is actually 425 steps. I think together they're more like 600. But I just love it every one of those landing platforms. Take a break. I'm probably gonna have to stop at every one of these. I'm finally off of the stairs and back on a trail. The hike in, which is another place you can stay aside from the lodge, is up there. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I would like to get to Black Gap Shelter tonight. It's about six miles in and it's I think after two o'clock or almost two o'clock. I don't know. I look at my watch and I don't pay attention to what it says and then I have to look another five times. But my goal is to make it there tonight. Um, so I can be around other people. Um, so this morning, I my friend dropped me off at the Marta station and then I took that up to the North Springs. And then Amanda from the further shuttle came and picked me up and brought me to the visitor center. And I think that's kind of everything that's happened. She told me that the hiker registration was in the visitor center, the visitor center, but it's actually in um, base camp two, which is visible from the visitor center. So 
I went in, got my tag, and I'm 2,000 something. The um, trail maintainer, I think his name was Bob, he said they're expecting 4,000 people to leave from Georgia. And you don't have to register to hike, but it helps them know how many people are on the trail and using it. But it seems like a lot of the people from 2020 and people who decided not to hike last year are now out this year. Um, which so far hasn't been a problem. I saw a group of hikers when I first went into the base camp and then I saw one as I was taking a break. But other than that, I haven't seen any more through hikers. I've seen a lot of day hikers. Um, and out in the lovely woods now. I'm at a um, like makeshift campsite. I think I'm 1.6 miles in. Um, those stairs are very hard. On the one hand, I'm glad I did them because I don't know when I'm going to be back again. But on the other hand, I feel like I used all my energy on the steps. And it's only 2.30. Black Gap is 5.7 miles away, so I could still get there, assuming there's space. I knew today was going to be hard. I haven't trained as much as I should have. Um, and I didn't sleep very well last night because the water heater at the Airbnb sounded like something was trying to escape from it. It hasn't made that noise the entire time. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful day. That's the only thing I have going for me right now. I mean... I am making progress. It's way slower than I would like it to be, but I'm trying to be positive about this, but I'm just really tired and that futon couch is not very comfortable. So I didn't get a good night's sleep last night. I'm probably not going to get one tonight. Tomorrow's probably going to be really bad for me. 3.4 miles in, I'm currently trying to decide if I have enough energy to go a little bit further. I don't think I'm going to make it to Black Gap. I think that's too far for me. Especially since I haven't really been able to eat anything today. Everything in my food bag has just been like the most disgusting thing I've ever laid eyes on. And I've been munching on this for a really long time and I still have so much left. And I'm sweaty, so after I sat down, I got really cold. And I've been drinking water, but there's not really another water source until the shelter. Which I'm probably not going to be able to get to until tomorrow. So I don't know. I can't really see it because it's dark. I'm 4.4 miles in. Not having a good day. It took me like three hours to get my bear line hung up. And I'm at this camp by myself, so I can't even ask someone for help. Um, and yeah, that's uh, today.